Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler platter video series videos I've been doing for a little while now. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff and drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, Tom, I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. We're hitting Jimmy John's, I guess. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for your day, folks? Well, that happens to be my boom, boom, it's my Son Goku shirt, which I've worn in a number of reviews. It's a very cool shirt. It's also unique in that it's one of the very few shirts that I own that isn't just a black concert shirt. <laughs> I like darker colors. I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a bit of a, a bit of a rotund individual, you know, so it helps a little bit, you know. <laughs> I don't look good in white. But for fucking Son Goku, of course, you know, you gotta represent. Um, but yeah, no, if you're somehow unfamiliar, Son Goku, of course, the, the main character of the Dragon Ball franchise, um, hugely successful and immensely popular franchise that's been going since the 80s. Uh, I came up with it in sort of the late 90s, early 2000s with, like, Cartoon Network during the big, like, sort of North American anime boom at that time. And, you know, I kind of fell off on it, if I'm being entirely honest, but, you know, I still, you know, retained that enjoyment uh, to some extent. And then earlier this year in 2024, when uh, the creator of Kira Toriyama passed away, you know, it, it felt appropriate to go over there and, you know, get something to kind of represent uh, his work. So that's where it came from. But... Very cool franchise, you know, peaks and valleys in my opinion, but a lot of good stuff there. Anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Jimmy John's, eh? So yes, indeed, folks, uh, I am headed back out to Jimmy John's because we're doing, boom, it's a sub-sandwich review. And what with it being a sub-sandwich review, I do have to preface this with three things real quick. Number one being that for over two years, I've been going on sub-sandwich adventures, and what that means is I've been going out to basically every place available that sells sub sandwiches, be they chain locations, uh, delis, Walmart, what have you. I've been trying out sub sandwiches. I've been reviewing them. I've been going over there and posting them on the, my YouTube channel. I'm such a nice guy, though. I don't just post them to my YouTube channel. That's where number two comes into play because I have an entire playlist called Subs for Subs, which is just dedicated to sub sandwich reviews. I've been going over there and putting tons of sub sandwich reviews on there at the time I'm doing this. I have over 100 sub sandwich reviews there. And that's where number three comes into play, because let's say that's still not enough. Maybe that's not enough sub-sandwich reviewing goodness for you. All you have to do is wait until Sunday. Why? Because Sunday is sub-day. That's the day when I go over there and I upload my sub-sandwich review. So every Sunday, you're going to get some sub-sandwich reviewing goodness. That's what I've been doing. And I figured about a little bit since I've been out to Jimmy John's to review a sub. I figured I'll review a sub, but it's not just any sub. Because I went over there some months ago. I did a secret menu item from uh, Jersey Mike's. If you're unfamiliar with secret menu items, you know, they're typically things concocted either by fans or sometimes even the companies themselves that aren't on the typical menu. You have to kind of customize a bit. And it turns out that back in January of 2024, they came out with their own uh, secret menu sub called the Blahs Sub, B-L-A-H-S. I guess it was supposed to go over there and kind of get you out of the blah mood of, you know, the colder months and stuff like that. It's also an acronym because it consists of bacon, lettuce, avo or avocado spread, hot peppers, and salami. Blahs. And basically, the way that they went over there and told me to, you know, like the website was like, just order a JJBLT, get rid of the tomatoes, add avo spread, Jimmy peppers, and salami. So there you go. That's what this is supposed to be. I'm going to take it apart and see if they constructed it properly. Because, you know, it's like, I mean, that's not a knock against them or Jimmy John's or anything. That's just, you know, I'm doing my own custom thing, so. All right. And it looks like this. Let's get a, a thing for the thing. It looks like that. <laughs> One thing I will say about Jimmy John's, I wish they would cut their, their sandwiches. But let's take a look and see. Looks like we got the bacon. We definitely got the lettuce. Definitely got the salami. Definitely got the avo. Um, yeah, okay. 
looks like they got it. They got the peppers and everything. So let's go ahead and let's try this blah sub. Blah. Really enjoying the avocado spread. Immediate hit of flavor there. Bacon actually tastes pretty good. Like you get a decent hit from the bacon. A little saltiness from the salami. I'm enjoying that. This ain't a bad sub. Mm. With the pepper. Oh, that pepper makes a big difference. Big, big difference. It's got a nice flavor to it, actually. I don't know that I've ever had peppers on one of uh, Jimmy John's subs. I might have, but... Well, it's actually pretty nice. Um, You know, when it comes to Jimmy John's, I've reviewed a number of their things over the years. I've always been a little bit here or there with them. More here than there. Uh, you know, they're not always the most impressive. And I do think that some of their sandwiches really do not shine through very well, but the more that I've gone over there and the more I've explored their menu, I have found some of them to actually be pretty good. And I'll be honest with you, I think that this one, this one might actually be quite possibly my favorite sub that I've had from them. Uh, I like the complexity of the flavors. I think it works well because it's, there's a lot going on with it, but like fundamentally there's nothing super tricky or anything. It's just nice, strong flavors. And I'll give them credit, because like, I believe this was one that was developed by the company, you know, internally. If that's the case, or whoever came up with it, they definitely were thinking about the flavors at play. It wasn't just random bullshit. They definitely wanted certain things to work out. And I actually think that it did pretty well here. And serious kudos to the guy who made my sandwich, too. He did a great job of constructing this. Um, yeah, I mean, this actually works really nice. You've got some heat. You've got some saltiness. You've got some nice savoriness. I think the bacon and the salami were kind of nice choices because you get both savory and salty from them, plus, you know, stronger flavors. The avocado is definitely... The deal maker, though. Um, I think without that, it would be a little bit one-dimensional, but you just get that nice, creamy kind of earthiness, sort of butteriness from the uh, from the avocado just all the way through. And it's one of those things where, like, it could have clashed, but it really doesn't. It ends up actually being this really nice experience. It doesn't really become, like, a, like a homogenous flavor so much as you get like waves of, you know, different flavors and different kind of strengths and, you know, but I'll be honest with you. I mean, little by little, you know, when I first started doing these sub sandwich reviews, I was not very impressed with Jimmy John's when I first started, uh, you know, trying their stuff. I have to admit little by little, they have grown on me little by little, but all that said, two questions have to be asked. Would I get this again? Would I recommend it? I'm going to go with Yes and yes, like, honestly, like, you know, I still have quite a bit of their menu to go through, plus, you know, I'd like to try out, if there are any other secret menu items from Jimmy John's, I'd like to try out some of those, too, um, but I'll say this right now, like, this flat out could be if, you know, if I ever get to the point when I've basically explored their menu and I pretty much consider it to be done, um, you know, if I decide I'm gonna go to Jimmy John's, this would probably be my order, because I actually really like this a lot, um, now, that all said, it is still Jimmy John's, so, like, I'm not going to put it up there with, like, the best subs that I've had or anything like that. You know, you know even, like, Jersey Mike's, Penn Station, definitely better all sub ex overall sub experiences, but, like, this is a good outing for them. There is nothing I dislike about this sub. It could be better in some ways, you know, like, I, the bacon could be a little bit better, you know. Um, some of the flavors could be a little bit, you know, but in terms of being what it is... In the context of a Jimmy John sandwich, like, it's a really genuinely solid Jimmy John sandwich. You know, I would say that this is, again, this for me is, a, this is a win. Uh, if I'm recommending it, 
I absolutely am, because I think that this is one of those things where, you know, even whether you're a Jimmy John's fan or not, you know, if you're, because, you know, obviously it's a very successful franchise, there's people supporting it, this is one of those ones where I would say, you know, if you're not aware of it, if you've never tried it, get in on it, you know? I think that if you're already a fan, it'll just kind of go over there and, you know, continue to highlight that experience, and I think if you're like me, where maybe you're a little bit on the fence with them, you know, this might be one that opens your eyes a little bit to like, okay, you know, Jimmy John's can make some pretty solid sandwiches. Again, maybe not the best, but certainly better than, again, where I initially pegged him, where I pretty much was like, they're, you know, just shy of being Subway. I, I'm going to retract that at this point. I'm going to say that, no, I do think that they are at least a solid level above Subway. Again, not in the upper echelon, but they're, they're winning me over little by little. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your year, folks. Go over there, yourselves a truly, surprisingly good Jimmy John's-tastic rest of your life. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, I think this is a perfect example of, you know, part of the reason why I do the sampler platter. Um... You know, it's it's about exploring these new experiences through food and even going over there. And, you know, I've had people who've commented when I go to a certain, you know, like a specific chain or something or whatever, who like, I don't know why you, this place is, they're always, and a lot of times they're right, to be fair. But then, you know, there is, there's always that opportunity for growth, for greater understanding. And that's part of the reason why, you know, I come back and I do these things. Because it's like, I could have written Jimmy John's off right when I first started doing this. But, you know, I didn't want to do that. You know, I wanted to give them more opportunities. Plus, I mean, just content, let's be honest. Um, And I'm glad that I have. Because, again, little by little, they've sort of won me over. And I think that you don't certainly don't have to give everything infinite opportunities. But don't be so quick to go over there and nay-nay the whole situation. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, bye.